What's up YouTube? This is Genesis121. Alright, so I thought I'd throw a video out there. Made a uh, change to the system. And I uh, wanted to share it with you guys. So, as you guys know from some of my previous videos, um, over this tank, uh, I've been running three of these 165 watt full spectrum LEDs. These are the Chinese LED fixtures that you can get online. Uh, pretty good fixtures for a good price and I was running uh, three of them over my tank here which is 84 inches and um, those are sitting about 12 inches off of the top of the water line um, at the top of the canopy and my tank is about 24 inches uh, deep so um, they were giving me some good uh, spread um, not there was some areas that were more concentrated the areas that are right underneath each one of the lights and uh, there were areas in between that were a little shaded so um, they got the job done but um, always in the back of my mind was wondering if there was something else I could do so a lot of people on the uh, forum that I go on or the club that I'm part of Atlanta Reef Club are very pro T5 um, it's a lot of T5 lovers on there. I mean, they swear to death by T5s. So uh, I've been watching some videos on T5s and um, seeing a lot of good growth, especially out of SPS corals. And um, I n never experimented with T5s before. Um, this was my first saltwater aquarium, and I went straight for LEDs. It just seemed like the best uh, option for me. So um, what I decided to do is I've actually supplemented my LEDs with four 36 inch uh, 39 watt uh, T5s two of them are the uh, 10 I mean I'm sorry two of them are a 10x and two of them are whites so uh, we'll go ahead and show you those so I know this looks like a crazy wiring mess but uh, it's organized chaos so um, these bulbs are being driven by these uh, I have two of the Workhorse 7 uh, ballast. Um, one of these ballasts would be able to run all four bulbs, but in order for me to give the different lighting at different times, I have two ballasts, uh, one down there and one there, one for the whites and one for the Atenix. All right, so in the canopy you can see here my uh, full spectrum LEDs there and like I said um, it's three of those going across the top there um, you can see those lined up and I have those centered over the tank up in the aquarium with the little cutouts there so it's one this is the other the second one in the middle and then the one over here on the end so what I've done is um, I've actually put my T5s at an angle so you can see back here in the back um, these are the Atenix and um, these are the Atenix bulbs it's a 36 inch bulb it's two of them um, goes all the way across the tank almost I have about maybe six inches on the each side of the tank that of uncovered area but it's still getting penetrated by light and um, as far as the as far as the Atenix um, kinda experimenting right now if you look closely uh, this one on the left is actually a blue Atenix bulb and then the one here on the right is actually a purple and um, kinda experimenting with those seeing which ones I like better I'm leaning more towards the purple. Um, I get the blues in my LEDs, and but I don't get too much of this uh, 420 um, color that's coming off of this purple bulb. So this is a true atenic bulb. So I'm liking this. So I might switch both of them over to this style bulb, and then on the reverse here, you can see the whites that I have going all along there and it's the same deal they are angled going all the way across with about 
six inches on each side of uncovered area and originally I was going to go for the 10,000 K bulbs but the guy that I purchased this whole set from he had the 6500 K bulbs and to my surprise I actually like them a lot because it gives the tank a lot more wider look and that was kind of the look I wanted to go for being that uh, I remember one of the first salt water tanks I ever saw um, it was running metal halides and they were like 10,000 K metal halides and I just loved that high intensity white color that came off of them so to me it was a win-win to uh, be able to get the all the bulbs the ballast the reflectors and all that I purchased that from a guy for 40 bucks so I mean that was definitely a win for me and I can say the corals are loving uh, the combination of lights uh, some corals that I had that I was had a little bit of struggle with before it wasn't really getting too much growth um, especially like my candy canes immediately when I added the T5s on there they just swole up un unlike before like they started to just really puff up um, I'm knowing the uh, the SBS over here are really liking the T5s as well um, just all the corals all across the board are just liking the combination so this is something I definitely recommend um, LEDs are great um, especially if you have one of the higher end fixtures but um, I believe the combination of LEDs and T5s is just an awesome combination it's the way to go so uh, that's pretty much it um, that'll wrap up this video I'll show you guys another shot what it looks like back here you can see the uh, whites there with the LEDs but uh that's it if you guys haven't already uh, hit that like button subscribe and uh, thank you for watching